It's here. VChain has launched the mainnet. VChain Thor. If you are a coin holder, you probably wonder what that means for you. Well, first off, let's take a look at some of the things that are going to happen over the next few weeks. On June 30th, there was an Xnode snapshot on the Ethereum blockchain. On July 9th, you can download the official VChain Thor wallet app. Also, this is when we'll be supporting Xnode binding. When the Xnode binding process is completed, we will launch the token swap service in the VChain Thor mobile wallet. Around mid-July, exchanges will begin with the token swap from VEN to VET. And finally, there will be a separate Xnode snapshot on the VChain Thor blockchain after the period for Xnode binding has ended. Xnode holders will have to send all of their VET tokens to the VChain Thor wallet before this snapshot, or they will lose their Xnode status. So, what exactly is this token swap? Well, the VEN tokens that you are in possession of are ERC20 tokens. That means that they are based on the Ethereum protocol and are part of the Ethereum blockchain. However, this is going to change in the coming weeks. On the 30th of June, we unveiled the new VChain Thor blockchain to the public. That means your VEN tokens will have to make the jump from Ethereum to the VChain Thor platform. To do this, you will have to exchange all of your VEN for a different token, the VET token. This is the token swap. VEN becomes VET. The exchange rate for this token swap will be 1 to 100. That means that for every single VEN token, you will receive 100 VET tokens after the token swap. To make this process as simple as possible, we have developed the VChain Thor mobile wallet. The wallet works on Android and iOS and can be downloaded in app stores on July 9th. But first things first, if your VEN tokens are sitting on one of these exchanges, well, sit back and relax. You don't have to do anything. The exchange will swap your tokens for you. Come mid-July, your tokens will run on the VChain Thor blockchain. This is the easiest way to swap your tokens, and we strongly suggest that you do it this way. However, if you feel uneasy about sending your tokens to an exchange, you can also swap your tokens with our mobile wallet. But more on that later. The VChain Thor mobile wallet has five core functionalities. You can transfer and receive VET and VThor. If you own an X node on the Ethereum blockchain, you can use it to bind your X node to a VChain Thor wallet address. You can do the VET token swap with the wallet. You can claim your VThor rewards. And finally, you can choose to observe an address that was generated by another wallet, all the while still enjoying the functions of the VChain Thor wallet, such as Xnode binding, the VET token swap, and economic node management. As an Xnode holder, you need to transfer your Xnode to a newly created VChain Thor wallet address. It is essential that you pay attention to the following instructions, as critical mistakes could result in the loss of your Xnode. We initiate two separate blockchain snapshots, one of Ethereum on June 30th and another on VChain Thor to resume Xnode monitoring. In between those two snapshots, you are free to move your tokens without losing your Xnode status. Don't be scared. The binding process is simple. Just follow the instructions. Start with opening the VChain Thor wallet app. Please read and understand the service agreement and then click on the Start button. This is where you set up your login password to protect your wallet. If you are using an iPhone, you can also activate Touch ID or Face ID to speed up the login process. Click on the Create a Wallet button. Follow the instructions to give your new wallet a descriptive name and define a password. You are now shown a list of mnemonic phrases. It is important that you write them down on a piece of paper. Keep them safe, don't lose them. The combination of these words is your wallet key and can be used to restore your wallet on a new device. Please note that you should never store them on your computer or any other device. After you click on Already Backed Up, Please Delete, your mnemonic phrases will vanish from your phone. Congratulations! You have just created your VChain Thor wallet. If you prefer to create your VChain Thor address with other methods, such as hardware or desktop wallets, 
you can use the Observe Wallet function to add your address to the VeChain Thor mobile wallet. The Observe function can be found by selecting Me and then Manage Wallet. Now, click on Import a Wallet at the bottom of the screen. On the next screen, you have to navigate to the Observe a Wallet tab to import your address. Even though this address is only observed, you can still use it to perform an X node binding or the token swap, just like with the addresses that are created in the mobile wallet. So, the following instructions also apply to observed wallets. You can now bind your X node to your new wallet address. Please note that this has to be done before the X node binding deadline. To bind your X node, go to the Rewards tab and click on X node binding. Now, Select the VeChain Thor wallet that you want to be the new home of your X node. On the next screen, you are asked to enter your Ethereum wallet address. Remember, input the wallet that is currently home to your X node. Enter the complete address, including the 0x at the beginning. When you are finished, click on the X node verification button below. The app is now trying to verify if the entered Ethereum address does qualify for Xnode status, based on the snapshot that was taken on the 30th of June. If it does, a new button appears. Click on Start Xnode Binding. The app will now show you instructions on how to proceed. Read them and then click on Understood Start Binding. On the next screen, a unique intermediary address is created. This address is cryptographically generated from both your Ethereum and your VeChain Thor addresses and is constantly monitored by the VeChain Foundation. Please remember, the intermediary address can only be generated in the mobile wallet. The address contains 20 zeros so that no one owns the private key. Only send tokens to an intermediary address that you have created yourself and always check it thoroughly. Be on the lookout and don't get scammed. Copy the intermediary address to your clipboard by selecting Copy. The next step has to be performed from your Ethereum wallet. You will have to send a small amount of VEN tokens to this intermediary address to confirm the ownership of your X node and proceed with the binding. Go ahead and send 0.01 VEN tokens to the intermediary address. After the transaction is completed, go back to the VeChain Thor wallet and tap on ERC20 VEN transferred next. That's it. Once the transaction has been confirmed, your X node has been successfully bound to your new wallet. But wait, one more thing. You still have to perform the token swap for all of your tokens. There are two ways to do this. You can swap your tokens with our mobile wallet. Since you have already done the X node binding, you can simply send the rest of your ERC20 VEN to the intermediary address once the token swap function is available in the mobile wallet. The VeChain Foundation will continuously monitor this address and manually transfer your VET to your VeChain Thor address. The second option is to go ahead and send them to one of these exchanges. They will take care of the token swap for you. Once the tokens have been swapped by the exchange, don't forget to send all of them to your main VeChain Thor address for which you have performed the X node binding. But please, Remember that there will be a separate blockchain snapshot that will happen before the monitoring of X nodes resumes. It is extremely important that you send all of your swap tokens to the VeChain Thor wallet before this snapshot takes place, or you will lose your X node status. All right, let's move on. What about non X node holders? After the X node binding service ends, the token swap service through our mobile app will kick off. So, if you do not have an X node, and you don't want to send your tokens to an exchange to get them swapped, you can also use the mobile wallet to do so. This is what you'll have to do. Create your VeChain Thor wallet, just like in the last step. Give it a descriptive name and write down the mnemonic phrases on a piece of paper. Alternatively, you can create your VeChain Thor address with another application and observe it in the mobile wallet. Once you have your VeChain Thor wallet up and running, you can go ahead with the VET token swap. To do this, click on the Me tab and select VET Token Swap on the following screen. Read the VET Token Swap Service Agreement and then click on Start. Now you have to select your VeChain Thor wallet. This is the wallet that you are going to bind to your Ethereum wallet. Enter your Ethereum address into the dedicated field. Enter the complete address, including the 0x at the beginning. Once you are done, 
click on Ethereum VEN Wallet Verification. On the next screen, a unique intermediary address is created. Copy the intermediary address to your clipboard by selecting Copy. The next step has to be performed from your Ethereum wallet. First, you will have to send a small amount of VEN tokens to this intermediary address. When the transaction is successful and everything works, you can go ahead and transfer the rest of your tokens by repeating the last step. That's it! The token swap through our mobile wallet will be an ongoing process. That means that in the future, we will continue to monitor all intermediary addresses for VEN tokens and swap them for you. Because of security concerns and various auditing requirements, this will not happen in real time. After the transaction, it could take between 6 and 12 hours for your tokens to appear in your wallet. Please remember, to simplify things, we strongly suggest that you send your tokens to one of these exchanges and let them handle the token swap for you. Exchanges will begin with the token swap around mid-July. Once your tokens have been swapped by an exchange, you can create a wallet with the mobile app and transfer your tokens to your wallet address. Once your new VET tokens are sitting in your VeChain Thor wallet, they will start to generate VThor. Come and collect your VThor orbs at the rewards page. Well, that's really all you need to know about the token swap. Why not go ahead and download the VeChain Thor mobile wallet today?